take a look at this photo. Does it make you feel liminal? What exactly do you think is giving off that liminal feeling? Is it the color of the walls, the wallpaper, the lights, or even the photo itself? You see, I see a lot of people focusing more on the liminal photos and everything that comes with it, but I see so many people sleeping on liminal music, and that's what I think gives and carries most of this liminal vibe. I like to think that there are two main types of liminality. Unsafe being grainier, off-putting, and claustrophobic like these photos, and safe being relaxing, peaceful, and infinite like these photos. Just like the photos, liminal music applies to this as well. This is generally what unsafe liminal music will sound like. More 1930s to 40s jazz. This is what safe liminal music sounds like. Eighties music with no lyrics and heavily slowed down. Both give very similar feelings but should not be mismatched or confused with each other. I'll be showing you how to make it safe. I am a very cheap man. So I'll be using FL Studio Mobile. First step you're going to want to do is make the tempo like around, I'm going to make it like 75. Once you have your tempo, decide what chords you want to play before writing chord structures. I wouldn't recommend more than like 6, but you can do more if you really want to. You're generally safe with like a 2-5-1 or a 4-1, but choose any spacey 80s era sounding chords. I would also recommend using 7th and 9th chords a lot, like a lot, it makes it feel more like the liminal. When you have your uh, chords, just pick an instrument like a pad or retro keyboard or synth or something, just pick something that sounds cool. Liminal music is very simple, so I wouldn't put more than 5 instruments on one song. This is also the time where you should decide if you want drums or not. If you want drums, pick something that sounds fake. It's a faster type song, add small amounts of hi-hats, but if not, you don't even need to add them in. You're also generally safe with a kick drum on the first quarter note of the first measure, and a snare drum on the first note of the third measure. These drums don't need to change, you can just repeat them throughout the song. The bass is very important, but simple. Pick something that sounds airy and raspy and make it decently loud. You only need to follow the root note of every chord, so it should be fairly easy to write a bass line. Next is the melody. Pick some sort of lead synth or a keyboard and make it really simple and slow. FX noises are optional, just like drums, but I don't really know how to describe what to do. If you want them, my best advice is just to try and take inspiration from the other liminal songs that use them. Post-processing. There are three main steps to make a cool sounding synth song into liminal music. The first step is absolutely drowning every single instrument in reverb. Next step is to slow it down. I usually slow it down to like 5 or 25%. A decent 15 should be fine. Next step is called making some noise. It's a bit of a controversial title for this technique. Just add noise or record popping sounds to it and you're basically done.